it's November 1st. Got a bunch of backpacks. We're actually heading on a road trip today for four nights. We're going to uh, Playa Flamingo. We're gonna show you around there. Uh, Potrero, and then hopefully into Las Catalinas, uh, weather permitting. It's sunny right now. Uh, but they say it's supposed to rain, so we're hoping it stays sunny out. But yeah, it's uh, kind of our first family road trip of 2020, and it's November 1st. Uh, but yeah, so we're, we're gonna take you along. Just gonna finish loading up everything into the car. And then we're gonna head out. So we actually wanna say a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. We've been saving this money uh, since the whole pandemic started because we were planning on doing trips as we went through the year. So yeah, we saved up um, so we can do these trips so we can go to areas in Costa Rica we haven't been to as well as places that you may not have been to or may have been to and uh, just share what it's like in those areas. <laughs> So we just arrived to our Airbnb. Let's see if I can see the view from the parking lot here. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. All right, so now we just gotta find a way up to our condo that we're staying in. Uh, we booked this on Airbnb, so I have the link below if you wanna stay in the same place. We're gonna go get lunch first. We're just gonna drop our stuff off and then we'll do a walkthrough of the place we're staying at. Alright, so uh, we're just down at Playa Flamingo, the actual beach, which is behind me here. Found a parking spot. There is uh, the meter maids. <laughs> They're, uh, they say they watch your car, so uh, it's uh, nice that they do that. Hola amigo, todo bien? Pura vida. So yeah, we're just going to go to uh, Coco Loco. It's a little restaurant that's on the beach here. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of food it is. Probably a mix of everything. And yeah, get something to eat. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the beach here is actually nice. It's uh, white sand, soft sand. Uh, it's not as long as Samra Bay. Uh, waves are a little bit bigger too. Uh, Samra is protected by a reef, so you go this way, you get the, the small waves there. But yeah, it's really nice. It's lined with like all these houses and palm trees and stuff. Yeah, it's a really cool setting down here. It's cool to check out new places in Costa Rica and show you guys what it's like. So we're at Coco Loco, so I had to get a Coco Loco. I think Blaine recommended getting this and putting your feet in the sand, so here's here's to you, Blaine. Should should taste all right, nice and fresh. Yeah, it's really good. It's like a pina colada, but it's got, what is it, rum and tequila in it, and then it's fresh coconut water. They have a big menu here too, which is nice. They do brunch, uh, starters, uh, just like beach bites, they call it, and then like dinner items as well. Cheers. Let me try too. It's like a pina colada. Except it's better because it's in a coconut. In a coconut, yeah. It's more, more tropical.
right, so we just finished lunch here at Coco Loco. I had the Ropa Viejo, which is a shredded beef on a baguette with cheese. It was really good. And then a Caribbean style rice and beans with coconut in it. And then Shana had a chicken and brie sandwich and same rice as I did. And then uh, the, Jane had a little uh, kind of chicken pizza thing or uh, like a tortilla pizza, I guess. And uh, Makai had fries as usual. But yeah, it's really good uh, food here. Uh, not big portions, but it's enough to keep you full. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out to have another drink here. And then we're gonna go drive around and just kind of see what the lay of the land is. See, si. muchas gracias. Thank you. I'm going to give, the, give the gentleman a little money because he helped me uh, park. Check out this parking spot. <laughs> so we just got back to our Airbnb after mountain goating, mountain goating <laughs> up the uh, hillside. Shana's ankle still sore so she can't walk down to the pool. I'm trying to find a shower or sprinkler or something. Oh, there's, a, there's a thing to rinse with feet. Yeah, because we got sand on our feet. We don't want to bring it in the rental, so these stairs are crazy. Be smart to take home for like handicapped. I guess. Maybe they can drive down. So one thing is there's no elevator that comes down to the pool. So I don't know if like in behind here you can drive down maybe. But yeah, there's no elevator to get down. So anybody that's uh, has in a wheelchair or uh, has an injury or disability, they're not gonna be able to get down to the pool. So keep that in mind if you are looking at booking this place. Um, yeah, it's weird that they don't have some sort of access for everybody. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out, uh, chill out for a bit before we go for dinner somewhere. We gotta figure out where we're gonna go. I'm trying to figure out a taxi for Tuesday because we can't drive on Tuesdays because of the restrictions and we wanna go over to Las Catalinas. So we're just waiting here if we can find a taxi number. I'm out of breath and out of shape walking out here. <laughs> <laughs> so we walked all the way down to the pool to spray our feet off all the way down like five six flights of stairs yeah. and now you're out of breath yes i'm out of breath <laughs> and what did you find i found a nice little faucet here to rinse your feet right by the elevator That's right convenient. on your way up where it should be all right so i'm going to do the walk through the airbnb that we're staying at so yeah we booked this uh, through airbnb uh, i have the link below if you do want to stay in the same place as we are if you ever come to flamingo if you haven't signed up for Airbnb, there's also a link below to sign up. You can save $40 off your first stay. It doesn't have to be with us at Sikasa. Uh, it can actually be anywhere that you're going. So uh, yeah, click the link below, sign up if you haven't. Uh, or if your husband or wife hasn't, you can sign up with them and use their account. But yeah, here's a little walkthrough of the place we got. It's $104 a night, plus there's some fees and stuff like that. We're staying for four nights. So right now it's low season, actually a really good price to, to come and stay in a place that has a view like this. And uh, yeah, you'll see. <music>
so not a bad place to call home for the next four Terrible. nights. Terrible. Yeah, I always bring you to such <laughs> dumpy places. Always. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is great. It's going to be nice to have this view. It'd be cool if we get a storm over the ocean. Those are always fun to watch. We always watch them from Veneto. So hopefully we get. If it's going to rain, may as well have a good storm. Yeah. And entertain. And we got these little lounges here to have wine in the evenings on. So yeah, we just got back from having dinner. We drove around, which isn't the easiest thing to do around here. It's actually a lot like Guiones. The roads are pretty rough, as you saw in the, in the video part with us going down to the beach. So yeah, we drove down the beach, along the beach. Uh, we we're gonna go to some restaurants at the end that are on like the point, and none of them were open. And then we drove out to Potrero. There was like a bar open, <laughs> that was it. Yeah. So we, so we came back to uh, Coco Loco where we had lunch. It was really good, actually. You guys had the I had the, we, we shared a burger, yeah. and then we had fries that came with it. And then I tried some ribs that my mom had. Yeah, Shana got the ribs with some vegetables, and then it was a stuffed... Uh, yuca. Oh, stuffed yuca. <laughs> She's in the bedroom. So. Yuca stuffed zucchini with cheese. So it actually looked really good, and she said it was really good. And then I had the tuna tacos, which you see now. And yeah, they had like a fried uh, plantain or yuca or something on them. It was really good. And then just like potato wedges. But yeah, it was definitely the best tuna tacos I've had. They were so good, just slightly seared. And they had like a little wasabi mayo. So you guys like that place, don't you? Because it's on the yeah. beach. Yeah. And for lunch, we had the pizza too. That's right. Yeah. Pizza. Yeah. He had the pizza, which we showed you earlier. Yeah. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this video for today. Us yeah, just traveling here, kind of getting to know Flamingo area. <laughs> if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. That's what Lakai is saying. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos, and we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to go to Potrero and uh, cruise around there and see what there is to see and hit up the beach, hopefully as long as the weather is nice and not pouring rain. So, yeah. Yeah. The guys are excited to go to the beach. Good night.